Okay, after you have um, placed the tip on the scanner, now it's time to connect the scanner to the computer. And to connect the scanner to the computer, we need uh, to connect it uh, to either USB-A or USB-C port. USB-A A ports are uh, not delivering enough power or power at all to the scanner or to the scanner base so that it can work properly. So if you are going to use a laptop with only USB-A 3.0, you will be needing also to plug uh, the scanner in or the base in and plug it into a wall socket because power is going to come from the socket and uh, information is going to flow to the USB-A cable. On the other hand, if you are using a USB-C cable, USB-C cables are providing uh, the needed power for um, the scanners to work properly, as you can see on the right. Uh, the only little disadvantage for the USB-C cables is that they provide sometimes power a little slower than a socket connection. And so when the scanner needs to warm up, it's going to take a little bit more time. But uh, there is a, this USB-C connection is a much simpler connection and it avoids using a lot of cables. So I prefer it um, over the other connections. Do remember that USB-C can be USB-C um, 3.2 or a USB-C Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolts are operating at a higher speed than USB-C um, 3.2. So if you have one, please connect the scanner to the USB-C Thunderbolt connection. Once the scanner is connected to the laptop, for the first time it's going to go online and uh, bring you the activation key for the scanner. So bear in mind that uh, when you want to uh, first use a scanner, your laptop is going to be uh, able to connect to the internet. After this, you are going to have uh, little symbols on the lower left part of the screen that are going to tell the story of the connection. Uh, if uh, you can see a red dot there, the scanner is disconnected. If you connect the scanner and everything is uh, working fine, it's going to uh, turn out green, as you also can see there. So it's going to tell you if the scanner is connected, if the scanner is sleeping, if the hub is pairing, if you're using a wireless scanner or if only the hub is connected. Also for the wireless scanners you will see the percentage of the battery left uh, for, that, uh, for that scanner. Uh, when you are going close to 20% I would recommend to swap the batteries and um, to give a new battery because you won't want to uh, stop scanning and replace it mid-scan. And um, Please uh, watch these uh, symbols on the lower left to understand what is happening with your device. One thing worth mentioning is that if you are using uh, i700 wireless, wireless, it takes um, a, new, uh, a new antenna into account that is the actual hub. This antenna needs to face the scanner with um, a straight part towards the scanner uh, and it needs to not have any obstructions. So please try to place the antenna towards the chair and the patient sitting there so that you can use the um, scanner at its fullest potential and not have any interruptions during scanning. Also, for any scanner from Medit, my recommendation to you would be to um, place the laptop at such an angle that you will always be able to see uh, not only the patient, but also the laptop screen. I don't like scanning and all, uh, only hearing the sound uh, that the scanner makes because, as you can uh, already know, when uh, you scan, you hear uh, a music that you can uh, change if you don't like the music from Medit, but anyhow, you're going to uh, hear sound and the sound is going to have um, uh, a wider, bigger volume if you scan correctly and if the scanner is actually getting information and it's going to reduce that sound if uh, this um, uh, if your scanner is not getting any information but it is not enough to know where you are and if you are doing the right thing while, while scanning so please place your laptop so that it faces uh, the um, uh, so that it faces uh, you while scanning so you can watch what you are doing inside the mouth of the patient but also what is happening on the screen.